Mohs surgery is a special type of surgery invented by Dr. Frederick Mohs. So it was named after him. And it's a way of precisely removing skin cancer using microscopic evaluation of the removal. So the tumor is removed with an extra layer of skin, as is the case with any form of skin cancer removal. But that extra piece of skin will start at slightly less than would be without Mohs surgery. And the Mohs surgeon will analyze the pathology while the patient waits. So this enables us to precisely trace out the tumor roots. Mohs surgery is particularly useful for those skin cancers which are ill-defined. By that, I mean ones which have roots under the skin that you can't see with the naked eye. Um, also aggressive subtypes on pathology. These tend to spread a little bit further than you can tell just by looking at the skin. In terms of specific types of skin cancer, basal cell carcinoma is the most common type of skin cancer for which Mohs surgery is used, but others include squamous cell carcinoma and other rarer types of skin cancer as well. As well. The main advantage of Mohs surgery is the high cure rate when used for these types of skin cancers described because you are very precisely removing just what you need and not much more. So this can achieve a, a high cure rate, but also potentially minimize how much skin you remove. So in difficult sites on the face, on the nose, the eyelids, lips, ears, you can preserve tissue, achieve a high cure rate and potentially minimize scarring. The main disadvantage is that it will take longer than a standard excision or surgery. Patients have to wait for the results, which could be an hour or more between each stage or every removal. And it's under local anesthetic generally. So we need the patient in and out of the operating area when they wait in the waiting room. And so they can't be put to sleep generally. There are many other types of treatments, and this will depend on the specific type of skin cancer and the type of pathology of that skin cancer. There are certain skin cancers which are more superficial in the skin, and they may be amenable to creams or other non-surgical treatments such as photodynamic therapy, which uses a cream and a light to kill off the tumor cells. Um, radiotherapy is also very commonly used when surgery is not appropriate. And of course, for those more advanced type of skin cancers, which have spread beyond the skin, you may need systemic treatments.